Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial or the very first tutorial of our ISTQB specialist mobile application tester certification. As a part of this tutorial, we are getting started with the very first chapter of the certification that is chapter one talking about mobile world business and technology drivers and as a part of this chapter there will be a lot of content which will be covered but at the basic level quick introduction to what a mobile tester need to be aware of when he or she works with the mobile application testing and that's where the very first thing which we are talking today about is 1.1 the mobile analytics data in order to get started, the very first thing is what it takes you to be called as a mobile application tester and what kind of information you need to have within you as a portfolio, as a professional experience in order to work as a mobile application tester. To begin with, of course, we are talking about what kind of contribution you can actually make to the overall application testing of a mobile so there are many stakeholders in the mobile world including manufacturers, platform providers, operating system providers, market data providers, tool providers and of course application developers and testers. So when it comes to the mobile world you do have different set of stakeholders who are involved in a mobile application development. Of course, there will be people who are manufacturing the body of it. The platform means the operating system and the other platforms, which means that where you will be hosting it, like the Google Play Store or the App Store of iOS and many other things, including the market data provider who will give you the information necessary in order to groom your app and build it up so that you can have a great outcome of that particular app to be sold into the market. Also, when it comes to the tools, they are unique for mobile application testing and the other tools which you generally use may not be useful here. And moreover, the developers and testers still have the same recognition when it comes to the mobile application development as well. Now, in order to contribute effectively right from the test planning discussions and the test analysis, a mobile application tester need to be aware of and familiar with the following factors. And what is that a mobile application tester should consider to be taken into account? The one, business implications of the distribution of the platforms, like how exactly the business is impacted based on the distribution of the platforms, because not everything comes into a particular platform. Sometimes your apps will be only available in iOS and may not be available in Android. So how does your business is driven? Where are you launching this app? What kind of users do you have can definitely drive all the information. The application downloads per platform, like maybe what kind of ratio do you have on this particular platform that is the Android and uh, iOS or maybe Windows. So all these stores will give you the information that how many downloads have actually happened in similar type of application which will definitely help you to be curious that what all sort of testing need to be performed the quantity and distribution of os versions in the world maybe if you're going locally in within your country then you need to be sure about how many people make use of ios or how many people make use of android in terms of publishing your app the market distribution of various device types, including variations based on geographical locations. It may happen that not every type of phone is used in every particular region. So you may get some statistics from the market data provider, which will help you to understand that what type of products or devices are sold into the market widely. And you can initially target those big devices to be considered as a part of your testing. Differing screen sizes and resolutions do matter because your app may be about gaming, your app may be about certain picturization and that's where the screen resolutions does matter that whether your app will be convenient for a user to use it or not. The various input methods which your system can take, that is your application can accept, like is it just the keyboard or touch inputs or maybe a stylus input and a lot many other things. And camera type, of course, adds value to the applications like Instagrams, YouTube, and many other things where you can quickly record and add a video or maybe take a picture directly and add some information to that and include it. So will your app be able to interact with those applications or the hardware which the device is using or not? So the mobile analytics data is used to select a device portfolio for the test execution that is appropriate for the target market because you may not be looking forward to have hundreds of devices being bought in order to test them. 
so you may prioritize your devices and test them in reality to see the behavior in the real world. Now test or run over this portfolio to test the app on device in accordance with the importance of the device. So again, the market data will give you all this necessary information that what kind of devices will be best suitable for you to do some great testing and come up with the conclusions. Right now, today we are just talking about a simple tutorial on the first topic of the mobile analytics data. We will be getting a deeper dive into that in the upcoming tutorials. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.